Who's that? Hello everybody, welcome to Chaz Draycott Media and welcome to another episode of Gran Turismo 2. It's been a while, hasn't it? It certainly has been a while since I've played this game. Um, I was a bit late in editing the last couple of videos, to be honest with you. I've been flying around all over the place. We've had four race meetings in five weeks in the European Truck Racing Championship. I was just at Monza last weekend with Clio Cup and now the season is starting to come to a close for me. I've had a laptop for my birthday, which I've been editing videos with abroad. A lot of people that know me very well know that I'm very obsessed with my laptop right now, but it's great because it means that I can access this PC here at home and edit my videos while I'm away and it has changed things massively honestly it's Parsec the software that I use and it's just remarkable anyway let's have a look at the situation here because we've been through all of the manufacturer events I believe in West City so far but we're gonna have to do up our Peugeot 106 rally now something that scared me in the time that I was editing this other video is that I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do this car up to racing spec we're already in it it just says 106 down there I'm scared that we're not going to be able to racing modify this because it's like a special edition of the car. There's only one way to find out. Now, do we have to... Oh, you can. Wow, look at that. You can only have it in one colour. It's cool, but it kind of ruins it. But it needs to be done. It needs to be done. 82 grand. Again, a lot of money. Oh, just over a quarter of a million now. Ugh. I think last time we said that we either put tyres on whatever car we're using or lightweight it straight away because basically it's ready then to be racing modified if you do the lightweighting already as the modifications you do to it ahead of time, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's crack on. I'm in uh, fluffy haired Chaz mode for these next few videos because it's getting to winter near the end of the year where I don't have as many reasons to do my hair up and I'm all comfy in my hoodies and my pyjama bottoms and... Alright, what are the controls in this game again? I've been playing Wreckfest a lot recently, as you might have seen, which is quite the different kettle of fish to this. And already we seem slower. Alright, this may be a case of outdriving the AI or crashing into them. I like that. I'm good at that. Oh, I was on the limit at Yeah, they've definitely got more power than us, haven't they? I was thinking last time when we were racing in the Alfa Romeos that I thought the AI sort of matched the car you've got in terms of overall performance, but now I'm not so sure that that's the case. Yeah, look. You can hear him holding back. Wow. Let's does that go up the gears. This is not easy. We are just going to have to outdrive them in the twisty stuff, but the thing is there's so many fast bits of this circuit where you need the power to have got you there and you don't want understeer like that. You need to be really on it going through the middle. No, just can't do it. Throw it in. Oh, that curb's really sharp on the inside. Ugh. It's killed a bit of my speed. Oh. Well, damn it. It's not going well. Flat, of course. Oh, now they hit the wall. I didn't. I'm a good boy. Yes. I'm not looking back. Oh, I pressed it by accident anyway. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's literally the first race I've done since going back to the game again after another few weeks. Be kind to me, game. Please. I beg you. This isn't going to be kind here, is it? If we park it in the middle of the road, they might just run, run up behind me and then wait. There's one on me right. Oh, look at them both. No! Oh, God! <laughs> Don't hit the bridge. That's it. Give me a push. Please. Oh, what a move down the inside. Oh, he's down the inside now. Argy bargy racing there, so I like it. Oh, he's got in front. I don't think we're going to win this now. Unless he has some severe malfunction. Oh, is he broken there? Has he hit the brakes? Oh, that's going to be so close. Oh, nearly. Oh, mate, that was tough. That was tough. Well, these challenges are not easy at all, though. We've established this before. They are not easy whatsoever. Look at that as well. The uh, the 106, whether it's the Rally or the S16, it actually has the same rating modification. I did not know that. Now, when we go to do this again, five grand still isn't bad for second place. It's going to put us on a different circuit, isn't it? Because it's random courses that you do here. Let's see. Tahiti Road. Okay. We may be able to do this because this is like my favourite circuit in the game. 
And I know where I can be faster than the AI, but at the same time, you need quite a bit of power around here. Come on. It's always a very sedate start, isn't it? God, it handles so well at the front, you have to be really gentle with tapping the D-pad to move it around a bit. Well, that fourth gear is just pointless, isn't it? It's got no prod in fourth. Well, some dodgy physics helped us there, I think. This is a hard braking zone. It wasn't so bad. Now, it just depends how they all behave around the final corners. That's going to be the big difference here. Oh. Oh, I was so close to hitting that inside hedge as well, and that really helps put a dampener on things. Okay, they backed out a little bit there, but again, so close to the walls. Are oh, we going flat in turn one? Yeah. Ah, they're not. Come on. Yes. And over to the right. Yes. Don't hit the wall. Oh, it's going to hit the wall. That was nice. Yes, that's it. That's where it makes the difference. Because the AI, they stick to this grey concrete and the sort of brown dusty bit to the side, but they don't touch the green stuff on this track. And that's where you've got to just take advantage of it as a human being. You can still hear them coming up behind us, though. God, the catch-up is real, isn't it? And move over and defend a little bit. We can open up the corner slightly there, I think. Oh, I need to stop him coming by. There's going to be a lot of blocking tactics here. He's going to cut across us now. There he goes. Oh, contact. Way off into the pit lane. But we're going to do it. Are oh, we? It's going to be so, so close, but it is going to be... Oh, he's going to... Oh, there's no start-finish line marked on the track here or no grid spots. So I thought it was actually going to be... It's 27 thousandths of a second. Oh, man. So that's Peugeot dealt with. That is Peugeot dealt with. Bit sad, though, because that means that we've got a 106 rally, which was part of this list that I'll once again give you. But now it looks like that. Now it's not the 106 rally that I wanted. Oh well. Seven grand, not bad. Now what manufacturer was next? Okay, Fiat next up. This is going to be something like Cinquecentos, isn't it? Or maybe then Barchettas. Oh yes, the Cinquecentos. Oh mate, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. How much of these? Jesus Christ. 13 grand for a Cinquecento. A friend of mine used to have one of these. I think he had a 1.4 litre turbo Cinquecento. Somebody I know had one and they were just fantastic. 54 horsepower, so slow. So we're going to buy it, we're going to lightweight it and do all the good stuff. Music's proper funky in this part of the world. So let's lightweight it. And I think we might put some more decent tyres on it than the standard ones anyway. And thank you to the uh, the gentleman that was sat next to me on the plane back from uh, Madrid, by the way, for giving me this horrendous cold that I've had for the last few days. I've done COVID test after COVID test, and it's not COVID, but I am so bunged up up here. You can probably hear it, to be fair. Okay, so we've reduced the weight of the car. Let's go just for sport tyres. Five grand. What are we like for slicks? Ten grand. You know, I'm going to do it. That, that's the best for all-round performance, isn't it? I know... Uh, Evanzo7 that always watches my streams always says this. Watches all the videos and everything. Thank you, Craig. I always underestimate the tyres. It's always something I do. And I did it a lot further back in this career as well. High speed ring. Don't really need tyres around here. <laughs> you need power. For sake. Oh, there's the little old Fiat 500s as well. I didn't even consider that. What was that? This is going to be depressing around here. God, it takes me back to being 17. I had a Fiat Seicento Sporty when I was 17 called Mario. Let's see if I can put a picture or two of him up now. Lovely little car. We took the back seats out of it, made it a right little rocket ship, lowered it. It was great fun. But it was pathetically slow in its standard form. The grip is insane. God, it's like a go-kart. Oh, my God. Well, if we don't win this one, we've got to hope that we get a twisty track for the next one. Is that little old Fiat 500 coming up behind us? The little red one. Look at him. Oh, corner there. Look at the minuscule little exhaust. What is that? All right, we're in a straight line now, Chaz. Don't touch the controls. 
Just hold down A or X. Sounds to me like they're closing in a lot. No. No, they're not. <laughs> is it me or is the game really loud? I'm just looking at my levels over on the left and it seems like the game is very loud. I can barely hear myself talking half the time. But I know when I go to edit the video, you probably won't be able to hear the game at all. Oh, I got rid of the itchy moustache and a corner coming up. Hup. We can just keep it flat around the outside of it. We've got the slicks. Look at the speed. Speed now and power. Look at that. <laughs> That's fantastic. It probably was slower than whatever they're doing, but still. I do quite like the front of these cars. I think they're quite cute, aren't they? They say Sento is basically this with the edges rounded off. They sanded off all the sharp corners. I'm excited to see what the racing version looks like. It'd be great if it's like a little rally car. That was dull, but we've done it. The most square car in the world. Lovely. And there's the gang all back together. Oh, look at that little thing. <laughs> I always remember from having my Say Sento that it was a nightmare to find wheels for it because they had a weird stud pattern by like, it was like 4x103 or something like that. It was a really weird wheel stud pattern. Okay, time for some racing modification. That's the wrong menu. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> oh, that looks fantastic. Oh, there's loads of different colours. as well. Oh, look at the red and yellow one. Oh, that's funky. I like the blue one. I like the dark blue one. Uh, I don't like the purple one. I think it's got to be the red and yellow one, hasn't it? No, I'll go for the red and yellow one. My Mario is red. Oh, got them three spokes. Look at them, boys. Look at the state of them. Please be kind and give us a nice twisty... Oh, what am I doing? Please be kind and give us a nice twisty circuit. Please, game. That'll do. That'll do. Bit of room. Oh, the little racing modified 500 R's. <laughs> I don't know what that wheel spin's all about off the line, but it's it's accurate, I can tell you. Oh, we're at Rome Reverse. Surely, if it was a Fiat, it wouldn't have Michelin written all over it. It'd be Pirelli, wouldn't it? Right, get back here. Oh my god, the grip there was insane. That was actually insane. I'm going to try and stay flat here. It's trying to wiggle like mad. Look, flat. <sighs> I feel they're going to have a power advantage because the AI seems to just go for giving the car's power, which it clearly has. Oh god. So this is going to be a hoot round here. Bit of argy bargy going on in front just there. I'm still flat. Not, I shouldn't have been flat there. That was not wise. I like the silver and blue one. Why didn't we get a silver and blue one? Does it depend on what colour you get the car in to begin with? So I quite like it in silver. That's not very fast, that. Kissing the wall isn't going to help either. Ah, with this being the end of the lap as well, this is going to be hard in the second lap if we even bother getting ahead at any point, because look at this. We are miles behind. Stay in a straight line. Jesus. Yeah, the grip it has around there is mental. So we get back with them after a couple of tight corners and then they're just going to disappear off up the road. Can't even get helped by the imaginary slipstream that I still seem to think there is in this game. Still flat. Still flat. Still flat. Right, now we need know we need to brake here. Maybe fourth gear. Yes, yes, look at that. That's exactly what you need. Go on, through the middle. No, nope. I'm not going to make it through there. Oh, it's all gone wrong. Now we need to block. Block like mad now. Can't block the car that's already to the left of us. Can give him a bit of a nudge though. <laughs> oh wow, the speed difference. Oh, it's got little red wheels on it. Ah, uh, this is not good. No bueno. Is that Spanish? Oh, you can off. <laughs> Ain't going nowhere. Oh, he's mugged me. He's absolutely had my pants down. <laughs> he's had my pants down at the end. Oh no, that was depressing. <laughs> no, looks like we need power. Now mine's got three spoke wheels on it, and some of the others have got like these white five spokes on them, like this silver one. Look, oh thanks game, <laughs> you're not going to show us the wheels. Yeah, they've got different wheels on. Look, they've got these five spokes on them, and mine's not got that. Mine's got them three spokes on it. Odd. Either way, we came last. 
which isn't great. I thought that was just our car's name. <laughs> so what I want to do is throw some money at giving it some power to 57 horsepower. Hang on, why it, it does this? So it says 53 is our original horsepower there, but we had it clearly had 54 when we bought it. So we've killed one horse already. Give it a remap <laughs> for a t not even that for two horsepower. NA tuner. This gets expensive. This you can't even do that. Flipping heck. We're not going to be able to get anything else out of this, are we? Oh, 60 horsepower. 10 grand for one horsepower. No. Not one bit. Can't increase the displacement. 5 grand for one horsepower. That's a bargain. Can you turbo it? That's the question. Can you turbocharge the 1.1 liter engine in the Fiat 500? Yes, you can! 4 grand to get it to 119 horsepower. 181 horsepower for 12 grand. Right, like now we're talking. Why didn't I just do that? I paid 5 grand for one horsepower. I just paid 4 for about 50. Intercooler as well? No. Right then, let's see how it gets on with its sudden increase in power then in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Join me in the next one and we're going to take out our little Fiat Cinquecento and hopefully win at whatever circuit it throws us at. But as ever, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.